Step one, wash your hands. All right, you guys, today we are gonna be making some recipes from Chrissy Teigen's cookbook. This is actually her second cookbook, Cravings Hungry for More. I'm a little hungry myself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Today I wanted to I wanted to try somebody else's recipe and I got a lot of suggestions to try out some recipes from her cookbook. I feel like I should have a glass of wine, but this iced coffee will have to work. Okay, I picked out two recipes here. A little ambitious. Why two? Um, because I felt like I needed a salad. Personally. So, so. salad. Alright, first one we have is the roasted carrot salad. And then the next recipe, oh I took my bookmark out. The cheesy chicken milanese. Is that how you say it? Milanese? Yeah. That sounds really good, honestly. I wanted a chicken recipe. I'm not huge on, I don't really like steak or red meat that much. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how easy her recipes are to follow. Because I find recipes in cookbooks to be very intimidating. We're gonna start here. Roast the carrots. Wow, these are really soft. They're making me look very strong, <laughs> right? I mean, I've been putting in a lot of work at the gym. I have been putting in work at the gym. Do you think I can do one with my palm? Do you think they're really soft or do you think I got like... I think you got gains. You guys, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got a smaller knife. Because everybody always makes fun of me. No matter what knife I use, I get made fun of. It's either too big, too small, but I feel like this one is just right. All right, we got carrots. Did you cut the little stems off these? Uh, they did it at the grocery store, but uh, oh, wow. I'll take the credit. That's that Gelson's money right there. I didn't stop them from That's cutting That's that Gelson's them. money. Oh wait, she left them on. Of course. Dude, you just ruined Christmas. Oh my God, it looks so much more chic. I'm gonna trim them a little bit though. Should we talk about the farmer's market mistake? The scam, you mean? It's not a scam. I guess it is exactly what. You bought what you paid for. At the farmer's market, Katie sees a seafood like a guy that's selling salmon and halibut and like the seafood type accoutrements. And she Fish. said, oh, I want that. I want some. I don't know why. It was like 110 degrees outside. Why she wants fish. It just seemed like I would get, for some reason it felt like I would get really fresh, wild caught fish at a farmer's market. She said, let's cook dinner together. We'll make salmon together. I thought that was cute. So I went along with the charade that she's starting that day. I don't care. Wild caught. I don't care if farm raised or wild caught. I, just, I don't know. When did I become that way? Salmon just started tasting really gross to me everywhere. Which one do you like? Wild caught or farm wild raised? Wild caught only. I don't, I will not eat farm raised. Why? It tastes like jello. First of all, it has a really high like fat content. It's a different color. It creeps me out. Nope. You can't taste the difference because you don't, you don't understand taste. So there was that and then we ended up paying like $92 for three <laughs> baskets of blueberries. Why are blueberries so expensive at farmer's markets? <laughs> I think they were actually very similarly priced. No. You, you just noticed because you paid in cash. Oh, are you thinking I'm out of touch when it I comes to I think you're debit? out of touch, yeah. I don't think it was that much more. Maybe a, maybe a dollar. When you're dealing in blueberries, dollars add up, okay, dude? <laughs> In a large bowl. I don't have a bowl quite large enough. Do you think I should just use this to mix Will it Will you all? listen to Chrissy for once, dude? I don't have a bowl that'll fit these carrots. Seriously? There you go. <laughs> Try a little bit. <laughs> all right, uh, in a bowl, whisk, oil, garlic, salt, and pepper. Do you this, cook a lot with cayenne? This paste looks yummy. I really like cayenne. Remember when we used to have shrimp all the time? We always put, always put cayenne in there. Boom. Boom. I got a question for you. Yes, John. How did we end up with all the spices that we have? I, I don't let, me, know. let me get let me get to where I'm going. I'm wondering if people do they buy spices or do they just end up in your kitchen somehow? You know what I mean? Because we have a lot. We have shit that we'd never used before ever. No yeah. one would ever need. But like we have you're it. wondering why we have cardamom. Why do we have so much turmeric? <laughs> we don't even use it. It's a lot of garlic, and I'm here for it. Uh, the oven is ready. This is perfect timing then. I'm already here for this. I don't know about you. It smells freaking good. All right, John, I'm gonna have you throw this in the oven 20, 25 minutes. Do you set the timer for the carrots? Yeah, Siri did. <sighs> Thank you, Siri. Have I dropped the ball once in this John! Whole uh, okay, now we're moving on to the chicken. Okay. Don't interrupt me. Have you ever pounded chicken, John? I pound iron at the gym every day. No. <laughs> Using a smooth side meat pounder or an empty wine bottle. I don't have that. Cute. Right? She said, let me know if you need one. Season with salt, pepper, cayenne. Okay. We're pounding. You like to cook, John? Uh, no one can see me on like a turkey sandwich. Is that cooking? I don't really see, <laughs> I don't really see that as like. What's the definition of cooking? To me, it's making a meal. 
by any means necessary. Like preparing. Yeah, preparing a turkey sandwich to consume. I bet you Chrissy has a t- turkey sandwich recipe up in there. She does have a whole sandwich section. Oh, so it's cooking, isn't it? But it's like... Does she cook the turkey? It's like, yeah. No. It's like barbecued pulled pork, which looked very good. Chrissy doesn't have that kind of time. Yes, yeah, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, yeah, she does. She's busy. All right, so salt. That's pepper, but it's fine. <laughs> and then cayenne. Love that. It adds a little zest, you know? All right, so Siri just let me know that the carrots are ready. Are they caramelized and roasted, but not mushy? Because that's what I'm looking for. That's all I'll accept right now. Are they caramelized but not mushy? Oh, the cayenne? Wow, that's good. Okay, now it's time to milanese it. Spread out the flour in one with salt, pepper, and cayenne. Oh, she does not play with cayenne. Eggs in the second one, breadcrumbs and panko in the third one. Wow, I haven't used flour in so long. Like regular flour. John's hella not listening to me right now, you guys. I am listening to you. I've not... used... It wasn't that interesting, okay? I'm oh having used flour in a long who time. You, who are you even talking to? You're leading with I haven't who are you used even talking flour to? in a long time. Fuck, who are you dude? even talking to? Talking to John Legend and other. <laughs> ever heard of him? You're so dumb. What's in the second one? You don't probably know. cayenne pepper, knowing Chrissy's. Ass. Knowing how she gets to. Yeah, she probably got cayenne up in that motherfucker somewhere. I should put my hair up, huh? You want a hat? Yeah, can you give me a hat? <laughs> who created this? Container. I believe Progresso did. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Salt, pepper, and guess what? I'm gonna go with cayenne. <laughs> Place one quarter of a cup of the mozzarella on one side of each pounded chicken breast, about two inches from the edges. Which side? I'm assuming, should I have the seasoned side out? Yeah, probably, right? I don't know. <laughs> Read it aloud again. Let's follow along with Katie. Let's figure it out. <laughs> Place one quarter cup of the mozzarella on one side of each pounded chicken breast. I'm terrible at this. This is not my strength. This is my first time ever doing this, so shut the hell up, okay? I don't anticipate this ceiling. We just trust Chrissy for one second? How many hours have I been doing this now? It's been about four hours. <laughs> have you ever thought about putting out a cookbook? Me? Yeah. Like, world's easiest shit to do? <laughs> like, something like that? I could do that. When you don't give a fuck. About anything? Cooking. Cooking? Okay. Dredge. Crucial step. And we're back on here. Okay, that looks freaking good, dude. I really like the word dredge. It's a good word. It's a good word. You don't hear it very often. Well, I think you literally only use it for this application. I don't think there's ever another time. I think it's used in like, um, when they're trying to dredge out a lake, a riverbed. I've heard it like that. Dredge. What are you watching? Uh, the news. <laughs> They're familiar? Wait, you guys, do you think we should do a spelling bee on John's... Channel? The word channel. is channel. <laughs> uh, I'm debating doing a spelling bee with Kitty. I'm terrible at spelling. I know it. I'm wondering if there's any point in doing it. Hey, yeah. Siri. Two minutes. Two minutes, please. On the counter. Let's do it. So you fry, then bake? Fry, you brown. Heavily brown. And then we're going to bake it for, I think, 15 minutes. Look at this. Move it onto a baking sheet. I don't know if you realize this, but it's basically a giant mozzarella stick wrapped in chicken. Give me so the timer? Yeah. Siri, two minutes, you know what to do. Okay, your timer is set for two minutes. Check it out, you guys. Look at this. It looks pretty good, huh? Transfer to a baking sheet and finish cooking in the oven about 15 minutes while you fry the remaining two cutlets. What? Here we go, we're transferring to oven. It's a uh, 15 minutes. Hey, Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Now it says to make the dressing in a screw top jar, which I do not have, but I have this. Combine olive oil, lime zest, lime juice, salt, black pepper, and... I'm going cayenne. Cayenne! And right. shake until creamy and emulsified. Teaspoon of grated zest and a tablespoon of fresh lime juice. I thought you were gonna say cayenne. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm moving and shaking. I'm, I'm, You're heating I'm up. I'm kind of grooving with the kitchen right now. You know You're what I mean? one with the kitchen. I'm kind of one with the kitchen right now. That's a good cooking title for a book. One with the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. Teaspoon of grated zest. Do we have a zester? Do you even know what a zester looks like? Yes, I know what a zester looks like, Chon. 
I'm kind of ready to cook some other shit up right now. I don't know if it's the wine or what, but I'm just getting started. I'm so hot right now. Are you? I'm freezing. I'm, are you really? Yeah. I'm like literally about to catch on fire. That's probably the wine. Assemble a salad. Arrange a lettuce on a serving platter. I think I'm going to put it on this one. Baby greens. I'm not going to lie. I've been eating these carrots. Do you remember Mrs. Doubtfire? Yes. Yes. You knew exactly what I was talking about? Oh, yeah. I wanted to order from that restaurant. Didn't you want those carrots? Yes. I don't even fuck with carrots like that. I, that's how I'm feeling right now, laying out these carrots. Like, I have a very specific... She had, like, a little spread, too. Like, yes. a, like a Thousand Island, almost, or something. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe it was, like, a, was it a Bernays? Like, I don't know. Then scatter avocado slices on top. We're gonna drizzle. We're drizzling. Uh, sprinkle with sunflower seeds. Okay, I kind of murdered this, I'm just saying. That's it, there's no Photoshop. This, this is no Photoshop, no filter, no Facetune. Let's just get that out of here. She put Parmesan on top of the chicken. How do you feel about that? That's Arrange a cutlet on each four plate and top with one handful of arugula and a quarter a cup of tomatoes. If that's what she asked, then do Shave it. some parm over each cutlet, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and drizzle with olive oil and balsamic. The Parmigiano. so cute and then it said good quality balsamic vinegar she said don't buy the cheap shit no shake drizzle 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 there's That's no a, greens under here do a real drizzle dog you want more than that i want an actual drizzle oh god <laughs> mm -hmm. very good that's good yeah and we didn't even get into the cheese part no there's cheese in there all right you guys what do you think i think i did a pretty damn good job besides the balsamic drench that i just did chicken's incredible what do you think it's fucking good. It's really good. I'm excited to dip into this salad because those carrots are bomb. I feel like that little drizzle of dressing on top is gonna be really good. Whoa! I've never made anything like that before. <laughs> it kinda does taste like a really, like, like a high-end mozzarella stick. Like, really good. Fuck, dude. It's good. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Was it worth the wait or what? Yes. Yeah. Dang, girl. I gotta make some more recipes out of here now. That's my kind of salad right there. Yeah? Yeah. All right, would you mind closing this out so I can eat the rest of that chicken? <clears throat> you guys, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Like, the chicken looked really, really good, but I didn't anticipate it tasting quite this good. I don't know what's going on in here. I've never had chicken like this before, but it is incredible. I love the salad, the carrots with the avocado and the sunflower seeds. It's like a whole vibe right now. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. Me testing out a new recipe for the first time on camera. Actually, two recipes, okay? These are just two recipes I randomly picked out of this book and they were really, really good. Chrissy Teigen, Cayenne Chrissy. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Big. Can I say something? Tell me. My knees have never hurt so bad in my life. You don't, I didn't know you knew how to read. Wow. Well, your knees, I'm in your a lot arms. Of I'm in a lot of pain. That's a cut. Cut the damn camera, please. I'll cut it because I said I cut. Fat guy in a little coat. I didn't say that. When you eat this, you're going to be like, wow, I have the best wife ever. I already have the wife's wife. The what? <laughs> Breast water. Titty water. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain. Don't say it again. Please don't say it again. <laughs> don't say it again. Riveting stuff here. Shut up, John! <laughs> you wanna do it your way or Chrissy's way? That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I'm following her tutorial or yours? I'm sorry. Can you uh, say all that one more time just by the microphone? I'll pull it back so it's...